In this video, I want to have a look at tree diagrams. So we've looked earlier at lists and tables to represent all the possible outcomes of multi-stage events. But once we get above a two-stage two event, lists and tables can get pretty messy. So instead we can use tree diagrams and they represent every possible outcome at each individual stage. So let's have a look at some examples. Our first one says that two coins are tossed at the same time. And we want to draw a diagram, tree diagram to show the sample space. So on our first flip of a coin, we have two options. We can either get heads or tails. So this is our first flip. Then from there, if we get a head, we can either get heads or tails on our second coin. And if we get tails, we still have those same options on our second coin. We can either get heads or tails. So what we can do then is we can read along the branches of our tree diagram to figure out what the possible outcomes are. So on our first coin, we could get heads, and then our second coin, we could get heads. So we could have H, H. Or we could get heads on our first coin and tails on our second coin. Heads, tails. Then we could get tails on our first coin and heads on the second. And then we could get tails on our first and tails on our second. So there's four possible outcomes when we flip two coins. All right, so part B of our question asks us to calculate the probability of tossing two tails. So there's one um, outcome that's favorable, which has two tails, out of a total of four possible outcomes. So the probability of tossing two tails would be one out of four. The probability of tossing one tail and one head in any order, so we don't mind if it's heads, tails, or tails, heads, would be, well, there's two there that satisfy that condition out of a total of four. So we'd have probability of two out of four, which simplifies to a half. 